Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you what I packed in my hospital bag. I just packed it over the weekend because she could come in at any time now. So <laughs> I just wanted to be prepared and I wanted to show you what I packed. So if you want to see what's in my bag, then just keep watching. Okay, so I am sitting in the nursery. Um, but, oh my goodness, let me see. I have this big duffel bag from Michael Kors. Um, I got this a few years ago at TJ Maxx. Um, it was a really good deal and I couldn't pass it up. So this is what I'm using um, as my hospital bag. And I have it all packed up. And there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So let's just dig in. I kind of forgot what all I packed, to be quite honest. Okay, so first I just have this little case. This has all of my skincare in it. I'll show you. Um, I just have some cotton rounds, um, some micellar water, my contacts, and obviously I'll be I'll have my glasses. I usually wear my glasses, um, but I'll bring contacts just in case, probably for pictures and stuff. Um, and I do have contact solution in my purse, so I'm going to keep that in there. Just have a couple hair ties, um, some toner. Um, this is just benzoyl peroxide that I use to spot treat. Some moisturizer and my face wash. So that is everything in my skincare little bag. Oh right, and then I have another big bag. This is um, Kate Spade. I got this. Um, it's supposed to be for like underwear and bras and stuff, but I use it to travel just to put usually like my shower stuff in um, because it does have uh, like a wipeable lining on the inside so if something would spill I can just wipe it up and it would be fine but um, I have my makeup case I'm just bringing um, the makeup that I use every day who knows if I'm gonna want makeup maybe to take pictures or something if, if I'm feeling okay so I just have um, what I use every day in there um, then I have some face wipes. Um, if I just want to freshen up, if I'm like all sweaty, you can just grab one of these, wipe my face off and be good to go. I have some deodorant, my hairbrush, some dry shampoo. Um, I'm obviously going to want to take a shower, but I'm probably not going to want to wash my hair just because there's no point. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to bring dry shampoo. And then just a little body wash. And then I know that they give you stuff at the hospital, but I'm just going to bring my own in case I don't like the one at the hospital. This is the Earth Mama um, Herbal Perineal Spray. And then I also have the Earth Mama um, Nibble Butter. <laughs> Because I am planning on breastfeeding, so I'm going to bring that. And then next up, I'm just bringing um, just a zip-up jacket, just in case. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go into the hospital, so it might be a cold day when I go in or when I come out. So I'm just going to bring a jacket, um, just in case. I have a robe. Um, I have been wanting one, and I almost ordered one off of Amazon. Um, the one that you like match the baby in for like pictures and stuff it was like $60 and I'm like am I even gonna like wear it I don't really want to spend $60 for nothing so I've just been looking for a nice robe and the other day we were at TJ Maxx so I was like I'm gonna look at their robes and I found this one on clearance for 15 bucks and it's basically the same exact thing it's a really pretty silky um floral printed robe what I was gonna buy anyway and it was only 15 bucks so if I don't wear it, it's no big deal and I just picked up a um, tank top sleep little shirt um, in case I'm hot. 
then this would be nice and it's really flowy and um, I think it would be easy to breastfeed in. So I have that. And then I have a regular pair of just black, um, they're like capri length pants, um, <clears throat> pajama pants, and then just the matching top. They're just black. I got them at Walmart. I already have them in like four other colors. They're stretchy, flowy, they're so comfortable. I've been wearing them my entire pregnancy and I can get them up over my stomach. So <laughs> that's why I like them. Um, so yeah, definitely these are comfortable. And um, I think it'll be easy to breastfeed it too because it's so flowy. Okay, and then I just picked up um, a nursing bra. It's like a sports bra, pretty much. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I think it came in like a three pack. Um, but yeah, I've already tried it on if it's and it's comfortable, so I haven't. I'm just bringing one because um, I might not even want to wear. <laughs> wear it um, until like and go home so I'm just gonna bring one um, and then I have a nursing tank top I got this off of Amazon too um, I just have the black one it came pretty sure it came in a three pack as well but I'm just bringing one of those in case I want to wear that and not like a gown and then what I'm gonna wear home um, is just a comfy pair of um, leggings the maternity leggings so that it can still go up over my stomach and I can be comfortable. And then just a basic gray maternity top. I just want to be comfortable. I'm not trying to be fancy walking out of the hospital. So <laughs> just something comfortable that I know will fit. Um, and I'm bringing my own towel to take a shower with because their towels are extremely tiny at the hospital so even on like vacations and stuff I always bring one for like my body and then I use their towels for like my hair so um yeah just a shower towel and then I have a bunch of these are the um always discreet um like fancy underwear um this these are what everyone says to bring they say that they're more comfortable than what they give you at the hospital, so we'll see. I packed like, I don't know, like eight of them, and then I'm I'm going to leave like the rest of them in the car in case I like, if I do like them, then I can have Carlo go get me more if I need them from the car. Um, and then I just bought my own pads. I just got the Always Overnight ones. They're like super thick and super long, and... Because I know that they have like the massive ones at the hospital and if I don't need or those are too uncomfortable then I can use these. Same as that. I put like 8 or 10 of them in here and then I'll put the rest of the pack in the car so I'll have them. I just have some flip flops I got from Walmart over the summer um, for showering. Shower shoes because I'm not... I think that is so gross when people are like barefoot in a shower that's like not your own. I just, it makes me cringe. I hate it. So I have shower shoes, especially in a hospital. I know that they clean, but that is so gross. And then I bought a pair of slippers from Walmart, super cheap. They're like $1.88 because <laughs> I was going to order some off of Amazon. They were like 30 bucks and they were super cute. And I was like, I do need a new pair of slippers. So why don't I just buy these and wear them at the hospital? But then I'm thinking... I am not bringing slippers that I wore at the hospital back into my house. That's gross. So I got super <laughs> cheap with that Walmart and I'm just going to pitch these at the hospital when I'm done with them. And then I just brought, um, I got a couple samples in a bag from Target. Um, the breast pads, I'm sure that they have them at the hospital, but, um, nursing pads, I guess. Um, so I just brought two packs of those just just to have them. Okay, so that's everything that I have in my duffel bag. Then of course I'll be bringing in my phone. I have a charger that I always keep in my purse so that's gonna stay in there because I'll bring my purse in with me. Um, and then I have my iPad. I'll be bringing two to keep me occupied. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring my own pillow and blanket. Um, 
I always bring this blanket and this pillow when I like go on vacation for like a week. I took it this with me when we went to Punta Cana. Just like something from home that like is comforting. Um, I'm sure that I'm going to need it at the hospital. So I'm going to bring my own. Um, so that's what that is. And then I just have a bag down here. Um, I'm just going to bring, I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is just like a beach tote. Um, I just have, I have the rest of the pads and the underwear in there. And then I just have, um, some snacks and because I watched someone's video and they're like, um, they didn't have any food like for their husband to snack on. I was like, that's smart. So, um, I have some snacks for him and then when I'm able to eat, because I'll be there for a couple days, I'm sure. So, um, I'll be able to snack when I want. Um, and then a bag of lollipops. I watched someone else's video because once you're admitted to the hospital, you can't eat. You can just, um, they give you ice chips and I think you could have like jello. It's like clear liquid stuff. Um, but someone said that you could have lollipops. So I'm going to bring them. I'll ask them when I get there if I'm allowed to, um, have them. But I think it's like, it would be like a good kind of distraction too. So I'm hoping that I can have lollipops. So that's what I have in that bag. Also bringing, I bought this Barefoot Dreams, um, little baby blanket off of Amazon. It, it's reversible. This side is light pink with white hearts. And then the other side is white with pink hearts. I'm just bringing this for her. This is her blanket. Um, either I might like use it in the hospital or I might just use it to like cover her up when we're taking her from the hospital to the car if it's cold out. So <clears throat> I just wanted to bring her a blanket. I'm bringing a poppy. Um, I don't know if I will even use this necessarily, but um, for like breastfeeding and stuff, I thought I would just bring it. Um, also, if I would happen to have a C-section, um, I know that when you have like abdominal surgery, um, if you have to cough or sneeze or anything like that's gonna be so painful so they tell you to like um, either roll up a blanket or take a pillow and hold it against your stomach and then cough or sneeze um, so I feel like I could use this um, if or if I did have a c-section which I'm not planning on having one <laughs> but if I would so I'm gonna bring that um, and if I don't use it I can just have Carlo run it to the car not a big deal Okay, I think the only other thing that I didn't pack is um, toothbrushes and toothpaste for us. Um, Carla has his own bag, but for like vacations and stuff, I always like to get um, toothbrushes and tooth, not toothpaste, we'll bring our own toothpaste, but um, toothbrushes so that when we're done with them, we just throw them in the trash, we don't bring them back home with us. So I'm just going to get two toothbrushes before we go. Um, and there's a Walmart right down the street, like two seconds down the road from the hospital that I'll be delivering at. So if I would forget something or would need something more, um, he can just run there. So yeah, so hopefully you liked this video, seeing what I have in my hospital bag. I've watched a lot of videos, um, wrote down a whole list of things that people say to bring some things I knew that I wouldn't use. I don't want to like overpack because... Um, like what, what's the point? If I need something, we can rent, well, not we, but Carla can run to the store and get it. Um, I just don't want to bring like 30 bags in there with me and not use a single thing. So I just brought the essentials, stuff that I think I will use. And, um, I do have her diaper bag packed. I would be bringing that too. I just, um, I'm not going to tell you what I have in there because I'm going to do a video next on what I have packed in her bag. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you. And if you have any recommendations on things that you took to the hospital with you that you used that I did not mention, um, please feel free to put them down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Um, oh, one other thing that everyone says to bring is 
chapstick, which I am a chapstick fiend. I have chapstick everywhere. Um, <laughs> I always have it with me. So I have several in my purse. They stay in my purse. I'm going to be bringing my purse in with me. So um, that's why I didn't show the chapstick because it's in my purse. But yeah, so I hope that you enjoy this and I will see you in my next one. Bye.